Now that we have your account linked up within the agency, now we need to decide what tools do you want to add to your sub accounts and what sub accounts do you want to add them to. Now, if you remember in a previous video, I talked about there's some tools that work above the sub accounts, right? Within the agency only. And then there's tools that work within the age or within the sub accounts themselves. This video, we're going to be going over the tools that work within the sub accounts and how you can add them directly to them to be used by those clients. So you're going to go over here, you're going to click on your settings, and then it's going to pull up a page like this. Click on your links. And this is where you can add your links. So for example, you click add. Let's say, for example, I want to add contact buttons and I want to add a QR code. This is something that I wanted to be able to charge for the client. So I'm going to go ahead and hit save. There we go. We're going to go to page two. There we go. Contact button and QR code. So I'm going to copy that menu link and I'm going to drop it in my agency and then I'm going to let that sub account have access to those tools. I've already added some tools and I'll go ahead and show you those there. So I've got these right here. So these are the tools that work within sub accounts, event triggers, web hooks, contact buttons, DNS helper, funnel templates, e-signatures. So we're just going to go over those real quick. So now I'm going to go to the sub account that has access to these tools. The very first one is you'll notice that it's white labeled in. So we've got the tools menu here on the left hand side. And across the top here is the tools that I mentioned before. So the very, very first one I'm going to show you here is webhooks. So the webhook that GHL plugins produces is both a post and a get which means if you're needing to listen from like a WooCommerce or WordPress uh, website and you want to drop a webhook in there and have a push contact data in, you absolutely can. Once you've done that, you create a webhook and you just simply click edit, test this trigger, right? Stripe incoming, test the trigger, found a request. And then you just go through here and then you've got the option of update contact. And you can do all of these different options. Once you've done that, you're just going to map it just like in Zap, right? So you're going to map all of those fields. You're going to hit Save Changes, and then the webhook is just going to start working. It's going to create the contacts, um, but also it can it can do a post. So if you have a webhook that is a specific action inside of a workflow and you want to be able to push it out to another platform, you can do that also with these tools. So that's a brief example of uh, webhooks. Uh, event triggers. Event triggers is very straightforward. So go ahead and get rid of this blur. I guess I won't be able to. Let's see. There we go. That'll help. So we're just going to make a quick event trigger. So we're going to test it. Now, anything a contact can do is what these triggers will listen for. So let's say, for example, a contact has an inbound message. Okay. Great. So now what do these triggers do? They do two things very well. They push out directly to Slack or they push to Google Sheets. So all of these tools or all of these options here can create those triggers, which will push out to either Slack or to Google Sheets. Okay. That's event triggers. Contact buttons. Contact buttons is a fun. So you can see here, I've already made two contact buttons. So how this works is I'm just going to go ahead and click add. It's real simple. I'm going to name it. And then we're going to select the type. Is it a link or is it a tag? And I've already made those here. You can set the color. Okay. If I want to choose a tag, tag, I go ahead and type in the name here. And I choose the icon. Make it look good. Like I said, I've already added two of these. I'm just going to show you what happens. One is a link. One is a tag. I'm going to search over here for my name. All right. So another thing you might notice here is in search. So we'll get into that here in just a second. All right. So Jason Web Vehicle. There we go. So you can notice here, I don't have apply this tag. So when I hit this button, it's going to automatically apply the tag. So what happens if I click go to link? It's going to open up a window and it's going to be a ref URL that preloads my email address. So it should be able to save the users and their reps quite a bit of time. So these tags appear not only above the contact card, but they show up above the conversations. So when you select a contact or a conversation, these, these buttons appear and they can be applied. So that's buttons. All right. Funnel templates. I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time on this because there's just a whole lot of widgets that you can 
hues and and they're just gorgeous so all of these tools these are all dynamic pricing tables you can cycle between monthly yearly uh you got a google map uh, i think we've got about let's see here you know nearly 30 different options testimonials sliders all of them are gorgeous uh countdown timers all of these tools are available you can they can be used and we have further instruction videos on how how to use these so i'm not going to spend much time over them here so go ahead and close that out e-signatures e-signatures literally replaces pandadoc google doc or i'm sorry docusign but need zapier uh, you don't need any of those other tools um, so that's the reason that these live inside of the sub account so you can use those and again future videos are going to show you how to use these tools in depth um, especially e-signatures and they're exciting and i'm excited to have you be part of this journey with us